what's up guys? Um, the latest uh, decklist uh, from the OCG are released. Uh, feel free to check out the link in the video description to the Yu-Gi-Oh! organization website. All the decklists are from uh, past weekend, so July 20, 2015. Uh, so a few weeks uh, into the new AC, uh, OCG format. Uh, well, it's not really a new uh, format since their banlist update from a few weeks ago had zero uh, update, so no changes at all. Nonetheless, uh, new cards have been released over there, uh, mainly the release of uh, Dimension of Chaos with all the new archetypes like Magis Spectres and Cradle. Also, I think uh, the Master of Pendulum structure deck was released uh, some yeah, a month ago, uh, so it's still interesting to see how much of an impact these new cards and archetypes are having over there, uh, since as you know, uh, most of the cards will be released over here in the TCG in a few months, uh, so we can somewhat get an idea of the impact. Then again, there are a lot of differences between both OCG and the TCG, uh, like their uh, exclusives, uh, for example, uh, the differences uh, between both uh, ban lists and so on. Uh, so that's something that we uh, have to keep in mind. Alright, uh, let's take a look at a few statistics. Uh, these are currently the top 5 decks that are played in the OCG. Oh, uh, something I forgot to mention is that the results here are not 100% complete. Uh, not all the deck lists from all the players have been put up online. Uh, the dark numbers so that the information here is based on the actual released lists. Uh, most of them being the top 8 slash top 16 deck lists from past OCG tournaments. Alright, let's take a look. Uh, not much has changed uh, since the last video, uh, yes, it's my last video about the OCG metagame, which was May uh, 2015. Uh, there are a lot uh, of similarities between both formats. We can still uh, see that Heroes is the most popular deck, which is not a surprise at all. Rank 4s uh, are still strong and yeah, the biggest, I think, yeah, pretty much the, yeah, the biggest thing in the OCG, mainly because of Cyber Dragon Infinity and more Exceeds. Uh, but uh, yeah, of course, Dark Law is still a very strong card. Uh, currently, Heroes is the most represented deck, uh, sitting at around uh, 30%. Next to Heroes, we have a very similar deck, also focused on rank 4 exceeds, which is of course Clownblade, still a very big contender over there because La Valval Chain is still legal in the OCG. Uh, so Clownblade is still sitting at around 18%. Then we have Atlanteans, still a popular and top deck, sitting at about 13% of the metagame. Uh, although, something important here is that even though its representation is about 13% of the metagame, uh, the deck didn't win any tournaments. Uh, a big difference with uh, Heroes or Clownblade that even Necros. Speaking of Necros, it's still one of the best decks over there, ever since the April 1st list from a few months ago. Uh, then they got uh, all of their searches back like Manju and Senju, uh, so the deck is still a very big threat, nicely sitting at about 9%. But again, an important note here is uh, yeah, it's only 9% uh, of the representation, but Necros do take up a lot of tournament wins and first places. That's a big difference with, uh, let's say, Atlanteans, uh, which are more represented in the tournaments, but didn't win any of them. Last, we have uh, the new and biggest difference between May 2015, and that's of course the Pendulum Magician archetype. Pure Pendulum Magicians uh, focusing on uh, yeah, odd eyes, uh, maybe decked in avians, etc., is sitting at about 8%. But, and this is a very uh, big, and yeah, this is of course a very huge, there are a lot of hybrids between these Pendulum Magicians and other decks, like for example Heroes and Clownblade, and uh, they do, uh, yeah, they do take up a lot of uh, top spots in the tournaments, and even a few first place victories. The biggest advantage of uh, the Magicians is the huge boost in a more consistent Pendulum Summon, and of course more rank 4 exceed plays, and of course OTKs. Let's not forget that. Uh, they're definitely going to have a big impact when we get them over here in the TCG. I believe somewhere in November, December, that we are getting the, the Pendulum uh, uh, Magician uh, Structure deck, Master of Pendulum, I believe it's called. Uh, so it's definitely interesting, not to say the least. And of course, the decks uh, right 
out of the top 5 uh, more popular decks over there in the OCG. Uh, we have of course, yeah, Satellanites, uh, Shadows, mainly Train Shadows is kinda popular of course, uh, Infernoids and uh, Glyforce, not to forget. A few other rogue decks, uh, I think Magic Spectres also got uh, uh, two top uh, 8 uh, spots uh, in the yeah, past weekend uh, over there in the OCG, so they all represent uh, about 22% of the whole metagame there. Last, a few remarkable deck lists. Uh, mainly three. Three deck lists that caught my eye. Here's the first one. Magi Spectres. I think uh, two Magi Spectre deck lists uh, topped, or at least yeah, were released uh, from past weekend. Uh, yeah, Magi Spectres combined with Gradle uh, took up the first place in a very small tournament of only 33 people. Uh, and this is the deck list. I'm not really sure about uh, both archetypes in the same deck, how effective it is, uh, because it seems that there's a lot going on all in the same deck. Uh, he's focusing on uh, a lot of things. Uh, maybe some inconsistent but yeah it, it definitely worked out for him uh, we know how annoying the Magi Spectres are with their built-in protection effect and Gradle are yeah, pretty much the same when destroyed you can equip them to an opponent's monster and take control of it so you, you basically you're playing like nine snatch steel uh, in the same deck the second decklist uh, is Hands, Artifacts and Magicians. Uh, artifacts are making a comeback, it seems, uh, taking up a few top spots here uh, from past weekend. Uh, but this deck took up the first place in uh, a 128 people tournament, so that's definitely not bad. Uh, the ability to interrupt your opponent's scale and pendulum summon with the artifacts like Moral Deck or Sight, uh, and also Ignition, is pretty strong. Uh, and at the same time, you can set up your own pendulum scale. And and it can be very brutal, especially with cards like Mermaleo and Shockmaster. The last deck list here is uh, a long time no see, Junk Double Plants. They ended up uh, top 8 in the same 128 people tournament, uh, so again it's a pretty uh, good showing by Junk Double. It has been a few years, uh, but uh, yeah, with all the new Synchron support, uh, it's, yeah, it's no surprise. Uh, the deck is getting more support, and again it's no surprise that uh, Junk Double ended up uh, a top 8 spot here, and they are definitely uh, uh, going to take up more top spots in the near future. So guys, uh, that's it. That's for my uh, uh, the current OCG metagame breakdown from past weekend in the new uh, July uh, 2015 format. So guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave your own thoughts, opinions and comments down below. Thanks for watching. Uh, Leetum signing out. Peace.